The Visit is the ninth film directed and written by M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong, and uh, to be honest, I did not go into this with high expectations, because if you know anything about M. Night, uh, the first two movies were good. You had uh, Unbreakable and uh, The Sixth Sense, which were decent. The next two films, uh, Signs and The Village, were okay, and then everything else was crap. Um, especially The Happening, which, I mean, well... Plan on murdering me in my sleep. What? No! What? No! So I, I, I went to go watch this movie purely just to hate watch it. You know, I, I figured, let me laugh at a really bad horror movie. Am I the only one who does that? Anyway, um, yeah, so I went in there with no expectations whatsoever. And believe it or not, when, when I walked out of the theater, I, I, this was my response. <laughs> No, I'm not lying. Uh, M. Night Shyamalan has actually made a decent movie. Um, it's a very basic premise. Grandkids are going to go visit uh, Grandma and Grandpa. Uh, they never met him before. They're going to stay for a week, and then they're going to come back. Uh, a little bit of a backstory is that uh, Catherine Hahn, who you may know from Bad Wars and a, a whole bunch of random comedies along the way, I can't remember off the top of my head, but she always kind of pops up in these movies, and she's okay in comedies. She actually does give a pretty... Uh, pretty good performance in a dramatic piece in the little scene that she is. I, I was kind of surprised by that actually. So uh, anyway, like I said, kids go go see the grandma and grandpa for a week and we get a really nice blend of comedy and suspense along the way. Uh, M. Night Shyamalan has even said on Twitter that he edited this movie three different ways. Once as a horror movie, once as a comedy, and the third time he made a combination of both. And that was a final product, and I think it actually worked pretty well that way, because sometimes it'd be kind of scary and suspenseful, and you'd be on the edge of your seat just like, old people are creepy, and then other times it'd be kind of funny, you know? Gotcha! There's a 15-year-old kid, um, Becca, and then the younger brother is Tyler, uh, who's 13, and he wants to be a rapper, and he's busting rhymes, and he's not always... He, he's just so genuinely honest and, and upfront that he's kind of the heart of the film. He kind of steals the show a little bit. And of course you have the ending, which this is like the make or break of any M. Night Shyamalan movies because you never know if it's going to be too much or underwhelming or, or just like a complete mess that makes you go, what the heck was that? And th what I liked about this is that it drops plenty of like red herrings, MacGuffins, whatever you want to call them, along the way, and it has you looking for different things, and in the end, it's like the, the, the most obvious and most simple answer that you probably should have seen coming. I mean, it wasn't that obvious, but it was a little bit obvious, and it wasn't so like, you know, supernatural and, and offbeat, and it wasn't just like, what? It, it was just, I, I, I liked it. So, uh, like I said, suspense, comedy, a little bit of heart, and uh, it was kind of like a black comedy that reminded me, and I know I'm going to end up eating my hat, but it did remind me of the movie American Psycho, because much like that movie, it was marketed as a crappy horror movie, but if you actually watch it, it's pretty damn funny. You know, inappropriately so, yes, um, there, but there are certain scenes that you just, just gut bust because you're like, what am I watching? It's a horror movie, but what, what am I watching? So I highly recommend The Visit. Um, it was pretty decent. It was a nice return to form for M. Night. And go check it out. I give this movie a B+. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought about the movie. And until next time, thank you so much for watching because you just got burned. <laughs>